Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the Cabo Skywalker 8. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. And also huge thanks to Zwinda Miasta for providing me this scooter for testing purposes. Now listen guys, this scooter is for sure not designed to go fast. It has a 36 volt and 10.8 amp hour battery, as big as the 9 bot ES4, 370 watt hours, and it has a single motor in the rear with peak power around 650 watts. And naturally, as with all scooters, we do need to test the hill climbing abilities. This motor has around 300 watts, probably nominal power. So there should be like uh, no surprises here. This hill is a 10 degree hill and much over 10 degrees, you probably won't be able to go. Keep in mind that I had a bit, a, a bit of a low battery state of the year. So that's, that's also why it goes slower, but yeah. Small battery, small, small motor, small hill climbing abilities. No surprises here. The battery charges from zero to 100% in around. It has just a single front suspension and no suspension in the rear. And by the way, the price is also quite cheap at around 450 or 500 euro. The current pricing is naturally in the description. The main sort of feature of this scooter for me is that it's quite foldable and quite portable. So naturally you can stand up like on a regular scooter here. The handlebar might be just a bit lower than on a Xiaomi N365, but you can lower it as low as here. So also your child may drive this scooter or I can drive it like that even. But then the handlebars fold as well as such. You can fold it here and you are left with a really, really portable package. Probably as big as the Speedway Mini 4 Pro. To unfold it, really simple, just press the latch here, let it lock in pl place, unfold the handlebars, release the clamp, a quick release clamp, and again, you are ready to rock. In terms of range, I did a single range test and I got around 20 kilometers out of it, but I had really, really strong headwind at the time. So I imagine the range would be anywhere between 20 to 25 kilometers. In terms of lighting, I gotta say the situation is pretty good as far as it goes for like budget scooters. Um, there is a rear lighting and a brake light. It is very well visible, for sure better visible than on the Xiaomi scooters. And this is just a brake light, so there's always a brake light available on the scooter. And the front light, and the front lighting is quite good, noticeably better than, again, on a, uh, I don't know, E12 scooter or on a Xiaomi scooter. Yeah, I, I find it just enough for night riding. Probably it's better to get a gas run light or something else on uh, the handlebar. But again, this seems just enough to drive at night. Taking a look at the handlebar here, you can see the rear drum brake. There's naturally also regenerative uh, braking. Here is the light button. Here is the uh, horn, quite loud, pretty, pretty cool. And these buttons are also pretty nice quality. And there's a like uh, regular display that you see also on other scooters. No mini motors here, but I guess that's also what uh, you'd expect for this price point. And these grips are also quite nice. I think they're like better quality than on a Xiaomi, but yeah, the, the, these parts are quite, you know, cheap to get anyways.
Okay, so we talk about the good stuff, but there's naturally also bad stuff uh, in this scooter. And mainly, uh, my biggest complaint is the ride quality. I already complained about the Ninebot ES4 having a solid tire in the rear with suspension. And I always consider solid tires to be a bit inferior to uh, tube tires. So naturally, you can't get a flat tire with this rear actually pretty thick uh, solid tire but there is no suspension at all so if you're going over pavement if you're going over such terrain like here you feel a lot I mean quite a lot of imperfections on the road if I go over a pedestrian crossing from uh, the pavement to the road and then again to the pavement I really have to stand on my toes um, to avoid like a lot of discomfort when doing that. So whilst I was doing the range test for 20 kilometers, it was not a pleasant experience and that's just how it is i have to tell you how uh, comfortable a scooter is each scooter that i'm testing now there is the suspension in the front and works a bit like a bit uh but i feel i feel like most of the weight is in the rear when you're driving and there's like nothing happening with the rear so yeah uh when going over bumps it will be pretty loud the front suspension actually and yeah the comfort will be quite low now there is also a good mud guard here and overall the position on the scooter is pretty good since it has a bigger like a deck than the xiaomi m365 uh, and you can also rest your foot here against this rear mud guard it is really solid that's a good thing about the scooter like overall it's pretty solid but again the comfort here not too good and i know that the addition of rear suspension would make the cost of manufacturing the scooter quite a bit more expensive but honestly i think it would improve the ride quality dramatically i mean i drove actually the skywalker 10 without suspension and 10 inch tubeless tires honestly you don't need so much um, suspension at this point if you have tubeless tires so maybe a skywalker 10 without suspension in the front and suspension in the rear would be even more comfortable than this one I can tell you that driving the Ninebot Max, and there's also a review on it on the channel, is like so much more comfortable than this. So this scooter is portable, it's like maintenance free because of having no air in the rear tire. I was so surprised that there's no like, you can't inflate it. There is no air here, why? Why you do that? There's also this rear drum brake. Maybe it's not like perfectly uh, set up right now. So the braking distance is also quite uh, poor. Yeah, I, I think that the Xiaomi M365 at this point with the rear disc brake brakes quite a bit better than this one. So at the end, I need to answer the question like, should you get a Cabo Skywalker 8? as it is here as it's standing here with the with this rear solid tire and unless you need something really really portable i mean really specifically small portable because for example the xiaomi does not have its folding uh, handlebars and you have to remember that there are also other small like portable scooters at this price point for example the e12 lineup or whatever ben fox has in his video or you need the better light up in the front or you need like overall the design of the scooter pleases you and like the i, I think it's a bit better build quality like not how the cables are arranged and, and all that but overall like the robustness of the scooter you probably should go with a xiaomi m365 pro because it costs the same and it's faster it has in my opinion better comfort in my opinion a bit better design and yeah bigger range so yeah if you're still here leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this i'll see you in the next video see you soon and a very very warm welcome to the first patreon since relaunching patreon boss manari yay go subscribe to this channel as well Really cool content about electric vehicles.